What is going on gang? Hope you like the little intro. Of course guys, we are back at the range at Mission 160. Um, nothing's really set up. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. But of course, we got our brand new, it's still new to me because I mean, I only shot a couple rounds with this damn gun. Took it back into Springfield. They finally sent it back. It's been like a month and a half. Now again, normally I was I was about to get mad, honestly guys. I was losing my patience with this damn gun because um, you know, it's, it's, it's taking a while to get shit back. But then again, you know what? It's 100% free. They were at least quick and responsive to keep me updated about what's going on with the gun as far as where it's at, you know, with the process and all that crap. Uh, it was good. And they were nice. The representatives were quick to answer and they were pretty fucking nice if I'm being honest. So, Springfield, get a check mark for that. You guys were amazing. Uh, gun is finally back. And of course, this is everything that they said was wrong with the gun. I'll put that right here. So we had a couple of little issues that they said they fixed. Um, gun came back to be pretty fucking dirty if I'm being honest. I mean, that's fine. If they were testing out how they say they were, I would expect that they come back. I'd rather, I'd rather they come back dirty than clean, which is how I sent it in. I cleaned the fuck out of the gun before I sent it in so they can see it. But um, yeah, guys, the gun is finally back. Let me go ahead and just stop talking. Let's get you on the GoPro, uh, unbox this gun, and start loading some rounds through it, shooting some steel, and uh, seeing if they fixed what was going on with uh, that gun. If you guys remember, we had a lot of issues in that first video. But uh, you know what, hopefully they're all gone now and everything's fixed. So let's go ahead and get to shooting. 17 round mag, 17 round mag. The one we were having issues with, I believe was uh, the 17 round mag. That one was having a lot of issues where it was like, that would cock it back and it would fall out. Um, let's go ahead and check out and see how it does now. All right, 17 round mags in. Let's go ahead guys and uh, finally be able to shoot the fucking prodigy, man. Mag is, yeah, it's loose, but I mean, this is what it is. Run ready to go. Okay, finally. shooting this thing is flatter than my goddamn ex <laughs> finally ah uh, yeah Buttery. Walk it back all the way over here. Should be well over 100 feet. Springfield Prodigy, five inch. Oh yeah. Very nice, very nice. Oh shit. I would say he's dead. This thing definitely shot fucking flat. Guys, the Prodigy is running, bro. I've had no issues. I've shot a plenty of rounds through it. Uh, honestly, I don't see any issues with the gun at all no more. Good thing this gun was under warranty, guys. This is a quote unquote, a budget friendly gun, which I can see and you know, in the sense of what category it is falling under. You got Atlas, Staccato, Platypus, all these high end brands, which are pretty fucking good as brands. I mean, uh, those things are fucking 6,000, seven, five, four, threes. <laughs> Those things are pricey and the freaking uh, Prodigy comes in at a whopping 16, 15. It is very cheap being in the 2011 category, but that doesn't mean that it's terrible. I did have some issues with it at first, as you guys saw, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. I did a video last month when I first got this gun and it had a lot of issues, guys. 
um, everybody was saying, check the ammo, you're not using it properly, you're using cheap ammo. There's no reason this gun should be having these issues for what I just paid out the box. And then people were saying, you didn't clean the gun right or this and that. I'm like, dude, I literally just took it out the box, oiled it up as I always do with every single brand new gun and took it to the range. Fed it 115 grain, 124 grain, use a, ver use a variety of different ammos to be sure. And uh, yeah, man, it just had a lot of faulty issues, but send it back into Springfield. Everything was free, just shipped it on to them. They shipped it on back. They gave me a list, as you guys saw in the beginning, of what they found wrong with the gun. They fixed it, they communicated properly, and they sent me their gun back. And now here we are. So far, no issues. If there is any other issues and I do find them, I'll do the exact same thing that I did the first time. Send it in. It's unfortunate if there is more issues. So far, I haven't found any, but if there are more issues, then oh well, what can I do? Springfield Prodigy? Big fat thumbs up. This gun has, yeah, it's beyond amazing, guys, for what you're paying. It's a great gun. Um, I, yeah, I was wrong. I'll admit it. I know when I'm wrong, when I'm faulty. I was just upset in that first video because I paid that much money for that gun. So it is what it is. You know, you live and you learn. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, stay free, stay shooting, and keep on carrying. <laughs> Look out.